Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to show you how I made this Cthulhu dice bag. This is a commission piece. The pattern was provided by my client, and he got the pattern from Etsy. I will leave a link to the dice bag in the description box below if you want to check that out. For the dice bag fabric, I use this olive green velveteen stretch material and I cut all the pieces out according to the directions from the bag. There were a few alterations that I changed after doing my original mock-up. And my client has requested that I double the size of this pattern. So I took the original patterns and cut those out and then I scanned them into my computer and put them in Photoshop. I then went ahead and traced them around with my pen tool on the Photoshop and I doubled the size. If you purchase this pattern and this same kind of fabric, be warned, this fabric does slide a lot so you might want to end up basting it before you actually sew it. And the instructions were written for a person that knows how to sew. So if you are a novice sewer, I would recommend not purchasing this pattern. And once all the pieces are cut out, it is time to go ahead and start sewing. The first thing I did was make the arms and the legs. Here I'm just going over with a black sharpie to darken up my lines so I can see them better underneath the machine. And with all the curves and everything, make sure you take it slow. And I do go ahead and sew all the way around this and leave no opening because I will slash open the side to fill it up with the polyfill. And yes, I did leave a lot of excess around this because this material does slide. So once that's sewn around, I go ahead and trim off the excess. And then I may slash it and turn it right side out. And with the toes and those points all pushed out, uh, the instructions say to go ahead and sew those three points above the foot down. And with this pattern, the toes and the fingers and the tentacles are all able to be positioned. I used 18 gauge wire that I actually doubled up and I just use my drill and a pair of pliers to wrap it around each other.
And with that, each wire goes into one toe. And then polyfill pillow fluff goes all around it. And I go ahead and fill the entire leg up with that. The instructions do say to soft sculpt the legs right where the uh, bend is in the knee. However, I didn't do that because I didn't think it needed it. It also said to use thicker thread and sew the top of the foot to the side of the leg to position the foot flat. However, I, since my wires were long, the wires did that for me and I did not have to worry about doing that. And with the second leg done, I start on the arms. And I do the arms exactly like I did the legs.
There is three separate tentacles for the face. There's two side tentacles and one middle tentacle, which the middle tentacle is the, also the eyebrows. So I go ahead and sew those all up just like I did the arms and the legs, including the wire. And with the tentacles, the wire actually goes all the way through. It's not just halfway through.
For the head, I did not realize that I did not record me sewing the head together. But this is the shape of the pattern piece and you cut out two of these and sew these two pieces together and fill it with polyfill with no wires whatsoever. And the instructions say to leave an opening on the top of the head. However, I did not like the way that looked on my mock-up so I went ahead and sewed it completely shut. And where the middle tentacle slash eyebrows go, I made a slash there so I can fill it up. Also with the middle tentacle it said on the side of it to leave it open. However, I did not like the way that looked again. So I slashed it down the middle here. And then I'm just going to use a simple uh, ladder stitch to shut it closed. And when I put this together, these seams will be hidden. You won't even see them at all. And once those seams are closed, I go ahead and put the middle tentacle on the face and I use my Sharpie to mark out a guideline of where to sew it. And this is all hand stitched on. And once the middle tentacle is completely sewed on, I go ahead and use rubbing alcohol to remove the Sharpie. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach the uh, two side tentacles. For the body, which is actually the dice bag itself, I go ahead and cut the pattern piece out. The original instructions do not say add a lining, but I wanted it nice looking, so I went ahead and used a green cotton material for the lining. And these strips of fabric were actually originally supposed to be a one solid piece. However, this is where I'm going to attach the arms and legs to, so I cut it in half. And I'm attaching one half of it to the front side and the other half of it to the back side of the bag. For the lining, I am keeping the sides of the bag one solid piece.
and I did not realize that my video camera was not recording this but I take the arms and legs and I attach it to one side of the bag and then I sandwich those in between the side panels of the bag itself so that way they're enclosed in the side seams. And with all that pillow fluff and wire, it was a bit tricky to get around. And with the bag and the lining all sewn together, I go ahead and I insert the lining into the velveteen bag. I fold down the top seams so I'm going to top stitch it in I did not like the fact that this bag did not have a handle and the way to pick it up was by the drawstring so I went ahead and bought some nylon strap and I did attach those to the side of the bag. For the drawstring, uh, this first one I did do paracord, except for later on I do change it out. Um, I did take the cording and fold the top of the bag over it and stitched it down. I did purchase some locks for the bag since the paracord does not like to stay tied. I just did not have them in at the time of recording this. For the eyes, I did resin cast these myself and to attach them, I actually embedded a button to the back. To reinforce all these items on the face, I did go ahead and use Fabri-Tac glue. And once the eyes are on, I go ahead and attach the head to the body. And I sew the bag to the back tentacles of the main part of the head. Now onto the wings. I am making a casing out of felt for the wire and I just fold the felt down over about an inch wide and cut that out and make several long strips, sew those together and then I close, 
fold it over in half and make a long tube. And then I added my twisted wire to it and closed off the end. And it will be the 18 gauge that I double up four times so it's double the thickness of the tentacles. And I did not realize that I did not film making the main part of the wings. But I took the two pieces of the wings and sewed them together. And then I added that felt wire combo to the top part of the wing to make the top bone. Also my client wanted some of those talons on the tips of the wings. So I 3D printed some claws that I, I got off Thingiverse. I'll leave the link for that in the description box as well. And I drilled a hole in those and added some wire and then attached them to my felt wire combo on the inside of the wing after they were painted. To make the fingers of the wing, the instructions say to sew channels in the part of the wing. However, where they described to put them is not where you would normally have fingers for the wings. Um, so I changed the position of those and actually made them come out of the top point of the wing like I'm showing you here. And once my channels are made, I go ahead and add the wire. Once those are added, I go ahead and hand stitch that closed. And I also close up the middle opening that I have there. And with that, the wings are done. And I go ahead and attach them to the bag.
The last thing needed for this is the veins on top of the head. The instructions say to create two inch wide strips and sew them together and make a long tube. So that's what I'm doing here. Attach them to starting at the eyebrows and twist and go all the way to the back of the head and there will be three of these. And hand sew those on and with that the bag is done. And here's the finished bag. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next week. Bye!